Right, let's look at uh, Californication. Now this baseline, again, is a world apart from, say, By the Way or any of the other ones. This one's a bit more of a kind of delicate touch to it. It has a melody. The bass is kind of playing this bass melody um, that, that kind of <laughs> joins everything together. Um, I've worked out in a specific position on the bass. Um, I think this is probably around about the easiest way to play it, but you may want to find some different approaches after you've learnt it. Uh, I'll play the riff anyway, and then we'll look at how, how, how I'm playing it. So this is the main, part, the main riff for the song, Californication. <laughs> So that's it. Um, it comes in at the top of the track. Uh, one of the things is there's quite a lot of, again, quite a lot of moving around in the song. So you need to make sure you, you're very clear about where you're playing this riff so that you can get back to it immediately after choruses. Um, we're starting on an A on the D string, which is fret seven. <clears throat> we play two notes on that. And then we go up to fret nine on the G string and play two notes on that, so we get this. Then we got this little hammer on from seven to nine on the G string. So that's seven, nine, seven. And what I'm doing with this hand, is I'm only playing one pluck with, this, with my right hand. And this hand is playing the rest. So to get it to sound right, you, you really need to sort that, that little technique out playing it twice doesn't sound right. So it's kind of a little trill. So one pluck with this hand, so you get this. And then we play fret 10 on your D string. There, so we get this. That's fret 10 on your G string. And then we go down to fret eight on your A string. And we play, let me remember this. So we've got fret eight, A string, seven, G string, two notes, and 10, D string. So that's the second half. Seven, G, 10, D. And that makes up the whole riff. At the end, we've got a slightly different turnaround, which is instead of playing the last two notes as the, this, we play them as this. Which is, um, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on your G string, down to seven on your G string for the last two notes. So, riff from the top. Last two notes. Okay, it always happens in that order. So what we have is we have four bars of this bass riff as an intro with the guitar. The first four bars, there's no drums, and then the drums come in. Uh, we've got another four bars before the vocal comes in. Then the vocals come in, we have another four bars of this bass riff. And then after that four bars, we have this little tag section. Well, I'm including it in the verse. It's very simple, all, all we're playing is C, G, F, D. Okay, so that's third fret A string, third fret E string, first fret E string, fifth fret A string. And that follows the, follows the Californication bit at the end of the verses. And then you're straight back up to this bass riff for four bars. And what we've got after that is uh, another verse with a little tag at the end, tag being the C to the G to the F to the D. Uh, and then we're into what I call a bridge section. So we're gonna go up to an A, which is the seventh fret on your D string. That's a rhythm. 
then nine and 10 on your D string. You get this. Then down to an F, which is the eighth fret on your A string. And then we've got this little fill, which goes 10, nine on your D, and then 10 on your A string. It sounds like this. So that those two bars are kind of repeated. This is the theme for the whole bridge. It's a 12 bar bridge. And this, this basically happens for 12 bars with varying fills happening over them. So once you've got that little bit, there's a couple of little fills that I can point out. At the end of bar four of the first bridge, we have a fill that goes like this. So it comes, it goes up to the 14th fret on your, on your D string. That's what we're going to play. So it's 14, 12, 10, 9 at the end. So that's at the end of bar four. And I'll play the whole thing so you can hear how it, how it goes. It's like this. Okay, so that's one variation at the end. Uh, the rest are fairly similar to the, to the main body of the, the bridge section. They don't change that much. Maybe he'll move the notes instead of playing. He'll play or variations upon it, but we have 12 bars of that, those two F to A section. And then we're into the first chorus, which is just a short chorus. Now this chorus section is it's very straightforward. All it is is generally just root notes. We have a section that goes, I'll play the first four bars and then I'll show you, I'll show you the, where I'm playing them. So it's this one, two, three, four. That's basically all it is for the kind of chorus section. It's a four bar section. We've got a C, two notes on that, to a G, which is third fret on each the A and the D string, to a D, fifth fret on your A string, and then there's a little slide up before he hits the A. So we're going from the D up to the E, which is five, six, seven, D, five to seven, down to five, on the E, so you get this. Then we play back to the C again, to the G. After this we play B, C, D, which would be second fret on your A string, third fret and fifth fret on your A string. So that, that makes that whole section played once more. Okay, straight after that, you're straight back into the melody. And then we're into a verse, as before, with a little tag section of the C, G, F, D bit at the end. Uh, then another bass melody before the vocal comes in. And then verse three, I think it adds up to, or verse four possibly, uh, and we're into the bridge. Exactly the same as before. With the odd variation. So that's a 12 bar section. So once we get to the end of this section, we're into a double length chorus. Um, and so the chorus is basically, as I told you before, was a C to a G to a D. So that was our short chorus last time. So we're just doubling it up this time. So it's twice as long, eight bars. We've got the C, the G, the D to the A, C, the G, 
stays on the D, three, four, C, to the G, to D, to the A, C, G. All those notes I showed you where they were before, so there's no real differences on those, just double length. Then we're into the middle eight section, which is where the guitar solo happens. Uh, it's more of a middle 16, it's 16 bars, um, and it kind of changes key really to F sharp. Uh, I, I kind of worked out where he's playing this F sharp. Sounds to me like he's playing it here, which is um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth fret on your A string. Tenth fret on your A string. Uh, and then sliding down to the D, which is the fifth fret on your A string. So I'll play the first four bars of the middle sections. We get this. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Really straightforward. Every now and again he puts the odd chord tone in, um, meaning he kind of... I can hear this note in there every now and again, which is uh, a um, tenth fret on your G string. So that would be on the F sharp chord. Uh, then we go down to the next four bars. We've got this, this passage I'll play. It's this. Okay. And what we've got here is we've got a B, second fret on your A string, up to a D, which is fifth fret on your A string. I think he's playing an open A an open string and an open E. And what he's doing with each of those chords is he's just putting the root, root, fifth and octave and back down to the fifth again. So in fret terms that means it's the same shape moved, moved around but basically we've got on the B we've got second fret, A string, fourth fret, D string and fourth fret, G string and back down to the uh, fourth fret on your D string, so it's this. That's it, that's the movement. And then he slides it up to the D, which is the fifth fret, uh, on your A string, and plays exactly the same thing. Then we use the open notes, which is our open A, and we put the fifth and the octave in, which is the second fret on your D string, and the second fret on your G string, coming back down to the second fret on your D string. And then we go down to the E, open E, same movement but just moved across the strings. Open E, second fret on your A string, second fret on your D string, back to the second fret on your A string. So <laughs> that sounds like this, just with the B, D, A, E. Okay, and then we slide him back up to the F sharp again, to the D. Then the next line of the uh, bridge is the F sharp again, possibly with this chord tone in there, which is the 10th fret on your G string, down to the D again. Then we've got B, D, A, E again. And the last four bars, we play that whole thing twice. Whoops. Straight back to the bass melody. And into the verse. Uh, same length verse again, it's uh, a total of six bars, the little tag C, G, F, D bit at the end. And then we're into the bridge again, which is the... This section goes on for uh, 12 bars, as before. And then we're into the chorus out, which is a, again a double length one. I'll play the complete chorus out. It's the same as the previous one, but I'll play it anyway. Here we go, three, four. Mm -hmm. 
on this D. We arrive at the end of the song. I've noticed when he holds a D first time round on the, at the end of the first four bars of the chorus, he kind of plays this fifth octave, fifth octave thing, which is kind of going between these two notes here, which is uh, fret seven on your G string and seven on your D string. And back down to the D again, just as kind of a little fill, that's all it is. And um, that brings us to the end of the song and we just have uh, guitar playing out, I think, on that. And uh, that's the one. It's a nice melodic bass line to play. Um, that one should be good fun to learn. Okay.